What's up guys? Hope you're doing great. Jason here with a guide to complete anatomy 2020 for massage therapy students, specifically on an iPad. If you're a massage therapy student who just bought this app to use, or you maybe already have this app as part of your program and haven't used it much and want to lay the groundwork, I'll be doing a basic walkthrough to show you some little features that makes us my favorite app for human anatomy. Hopefully this beginner's guide will help you navigate the spectacular app with ease. When you first launch the app, you will see this main screen called the hub. After you made an account, that is. I did not include that in this video because it can vary person to person. Here, you can see easily broken down sections where you can access different categories, main ones arguably being content, courses, videos, and models. Settings are obviously important, but after you've customized them to your liking, you don't use it much after that. It's here you can change the order of some things in the app and make sure they are arranged to your liking. While we're here, I'm going to turn on the dark color scheme to be a little less harsh on my eyes and to be a bit better for my iPad's battery life. Both videos and courses are excellent resources for information. However, some of them do come at an additional cost depending on what subscription you own with Complete Anatomy. Let's say you are studying the knee and trying to learn more about an ACL tear. You can watch a video on it to see what happens inside the body. Let's watch this quick 25 second clip. Tears of the anterior cruciate ligament are most commonly caused by having the upper leg displaced backwards or sideways by impact, while the lower leg is in a stable position or by pivoting and jumping. This animation illustrates a complete tear of the ligament. As a crucial stabilizing ligament, a torn anterior cruciate ligament can cause severe knee instability and may also require reconstructive surgery. So definitely play around with what is available to you here. Even if you don't have all of these with your subscription, check what is available to you for free. For example, in courses, there are some free lectures available where you could follow along to an instructor manipulating the model themselves while teaching. Both Curriculum Manager and Sharing are basically for what the instructors use to create their lectures on the app, so we won't worry about looking through those. In Content, you can select certain prearranged models with multiple layers already selected for you instead of manually selecting all these layers yourself in Models. So if you want to look at, say, the Abdominal Esophagus, you can select this here without needing to select and deselect certain layers yourself to achieve this particular area. To navigate around the model, you can use two fingers to move superiorly, inferiorly, medially, or laterally. Pinching two fingers together will zoom out, while the opposite will zoom in. Placing one finger on the screen and moving around will pivot around the specific area you are currently looking at. So while using a combination of these two movements, you'll be amazed at what you can explore. While on this content model, you also can select important landmarks involved in this area by simply tapping which one you desire to see, and it will be highlighted and labeled. Now let's check out models. If you're going to models right after looking at one of the prearranged models and content like I did, it may still look like what we were looking at before. To get a fresh model to add on whatever you'd like, you can hold undo at the top left until this draw bar appears. Then press undo all. From here, you have this virtual human body at your fingertips. Depending what you are studying, or even whatever you feel curious about that day, you can explore. Obviously, being a massage therapy student, we will likely be using muscles most. If you tap any section at the bottom, a plus or minus sign will appear. You can tap the plus to add a single layer of that system, or hold it to quickly add every layer on. Let's say we wanted to check out pectoralis minor. One way we can do this is simply reselect muscles at the bottom of the screen and use the minus to remove some superficial layers. But that removes some layers we may want to keep on our model. So let's add those layers back for now. 
Now, we know Pectoralis Minor is deep to major, so another way we can do this is to select Pectoralis Major by tapping it. This gives us a whole lot of information about this selected muscle to the left. But to see under it, we are going to tap Hide. Now we can see Pec Minor without having any other muscles removed off our model. Once you tap Pec Minor, you get all the info about it on the left. Things like quick facts, origin, insertion, key features and anatomical features, actions and testing, and more. It will highly depend on what you have selected. Below all that info, you have different views to this muscle and can select to remove things around it and examine more clearly. Another way to access this view is by selecting Isolate in the top left. To see only the structure you have selected, you can press Hide Others. To go back, simply press Hide Others again. If you like the idea of seeing surrounding structures around the selected muscle, you can tap Fade Others to see more easily through everything around it. While still selecting other things to see what's neighboring to it. If I ever needed to bring our hidden muscles back, you can just select the system at the bottom with a blue icon indicating certain things are hidden within that layer and press show hidden to return. Multi-select is a great tool when studying multiple structures together. For example, Let's use the rotator cuff. I'm going to deselect a layer to reveal some deeper muscles, then select supraspinatus. Once one muscle is selected, if you press multi-selection, you are then able to select multiple structures. Let's highlight the rest of the sits muscles. Now with several things highlighted, we can use options in the top left to include everything highlighted instead of one. Let's isolate those. Ooh, I don't know about you, but it's not as easy for me to see what's going on here without some of those muscles bony landmarks. So let's go back and choose some of those. Ah, that's better. There is also an explode option to see things blown up a little. When done with the multi-select, you can tap exit to return to normal with nothing selected. Now I want to study the hand. Instead of using multi-select to manually select the whole hand, after I press one of these bones and go into multi-selection, I'm going to press select area to put everything I want selected in a square on screen. This selects everything within that square. I'll press hide others to just focus on the hand right now. Let's say I'm specifically studying the carpal bones. I'm going to turn to a good posterior view, then press Tools on the right sidebar, then press Pen. On the bottom left, you have 2D and 3D options. I'm going to use the 2D option to write a legend off the model to signify this color equals carpal bones. Then use 3D to label some carpal bones. Once I press done, you can see the 3D pen moves with the model, and the 2D stays on screen. To erase your pen, go back to pen under tools, and tap clear pen for both 2D and 3D pen options in the bottom left. To add muscles back on quicker, I'm just going to hold the muscular system below to quickly add on every layer from that system. The same option works to quickly rid of an entire system. Sometimes when you select something, it only highlights part of what you may want selected. 
For example, if I click Biceps Brachii, only the long head is selected because that's where I pressed. If this happens, check out what's known as the breadcrumb trail that appears at the top of the screen. Oftentimes, it has a lot of options similar to or in the relative area you're selected to choose from. There. Now I have the entire biceps brachii selected, instead of needing to multi-select. If you're ever trying to think of a certain muscle, and can't for the life of you quite remember where it is, the search tool will help with that. Press the magnifying glass by the top right. Here, you can search for whatever you needed to try finding, and it will shoot you to it. This screen can be a little stubborn to get rid of. If you click off it to try to find our now selected muscle, it will either deselect what you were trying to find, or highlight whatever other structure you accidentally clicked to get off of it. If this happens, just press the magnifying glass again, and reselect what we were trying to find. This time, hold your finger somewhere off this menu to rotate the model to hide the menu, and keep our muscle selected. This is a deeper muscle, and we don't see it highlighted right away so we can use some of the options we used previously on the top left to better see it. Remember home will always bring you back to an anterior anatomical position view. The Discover tool is an awesome way for you to see what's beneath the skin. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to add veins arteries, nerves, and skin to my model for this. Now I'm going to tap the tools on the top right sidebar and then discover. At this menu, press the gear at the bottom of the page to activate cut skin only. The circle icon next to it can adjust the size for your cut tool. I want mine to be the largest option. You can then move your finger around the model to see what structures are under the skin. I think this feature is handy to see what you may be massaging under a certain area, or what areas you should not be massaging. I can leave this cut here and continue examine around the model by pressing done. If you no longer require this gaping hole in your model, simply go back to discover, and then tap remove discover on the top left, then done to escape. One of the coolest features in complete anatomy has to be the AR mode. I'll let you be the judge on how practical this feature is, but you have to admit it makes for some pretty engaging study sessions. First, add to the model what you want to be augmented, then simply tap AR mode. If this is your first time using this feature, it may ask for, for access to your iPad's camera, which it does need to use. Once you do that, it launches your rear-facing camera. Follow the instructions on screen to find a flat surface and a well-lit room for a place to display your augmented reality model on. Once the spot turns green, you can tap the screen, and your model will appear. You can now physically walk around the model and select visible structures. Obviously, quite a few features are lacking while you are in this view, but you can't knock how neat it is to play around here for a bit. You can use the exploded view in this mode, reset to position your model elsewhere, or use the size bar to make it smaller, averaged human-sized, or even larger. There are a ton more features you can use in Complete Anatomy. These are just a few of my favorites I believe massage therapy students would benefit most from. I hope this video proved helpful for you and made studying on and using this app more efficient and engaging. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.